don't know. I'm having stomach problems, so. You're not even pregnant, stomach. man. What? You're not even pregnant, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess I'm not the one having stomach problems. Yeah. <laughs> I just came from literally the doctor. Oh, let's talk about it. Wait. No. Is it, wait, no. Is this the start of the episode? It uh, could be. Are we starting now? Ah! 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 Ow! Good morning. Ow! <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> Just hopefully that caused one or two car crashes. Yeah. Or hopefully it didn't, I mean. Who? I wouldn't ever <laughs> hope for you to crash your car. No, but people have. Ever. What's up, guys? This is the TMG Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our website. <laughs> Let's live the flying stalkers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, gay as fuck. So-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. All right. Look at that. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Who put that there? I noticed it. I didn't say anything. Oh. It's one of those That's an where adorable I, I, little picture right there. I responded in my head. Oh, hit you with the ultrasound pictures. Oopsie. Now that's a flex. Hard copy. <laughs> yeah, I just keep them on me. You keep the ultrasound on you? You just keep that thing on me. Just in case. Just in case someone's like, I don't believe that your wife's actually pregnant. Yeah, right. yeah she is. You could have printed those out, though. What do you mean? Those could have been just from your home print. <laughs> yeah, just search ultrasound and that's could be a <laughs> big old ruse. Yeah. No, they uh There's a gun bar. They print those out every single time. What? There's a gun bar in there somewhere. I keep the ultrasound on me. Ah, uh, nice. Something, you know. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. You got stomach problems? No, I just Obi said, You guys okay? Are you guys good? And I was like, Well, not really, not a hundred percent. Oh okay. I did. I just like ate an entire breakfast burrito on the way here. So you know, you said you came from the doctor, and I stopped to get a burrito on the way. Okay, and then what happened? What did the doctor say? Said the baby's all good. Oh, bitch. <laughs> no. When you said when you said I'm having stomach problems, that's not was not from the doctor. The doctor yeah, was unrelated to that. Confused. Yeah, yeah. The the stomach problems are from the burrito. Yeah. The doctor was for my wife's stomach problems. Got or it. not problems. Stomach. <laughs> you know, we got this issue on the way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this thing, stomach I mean. blessings, I should say. Yeah, yeah. my wife's stomach blessing. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's how they described it before. Like Latin was real ironed out. Yeah, the blessing <laughs> the is in the stomach. <sighs> Gut blessing. Yeah, so every, that's that's all good. And every time you go, they print out a like they do an ultrasound every single time. Nice. And they just print pictures. But by the end, they're just like you've seen the baby the hundred times. So they're kind of like, there's the, t- and they print it off, and you're like, like, I don't know what any of these are. I think that's a kid. Like, what is that? It's just nothing. Uh, yeah. I think they just do it because it's like habit. Uh. You know? Yeah. They're like, okay, there's the umbilical cord. And they print it out, and they like move by then, so then it's just a black screen. You're like, okay. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, so. What is that? An alien? Yeah. Yeah. Is that real? How did you get? No, that's. Did that's, I give that to you? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's actually um. That's a Sigourney Weaver's stomach. <laughs> Have you seen that movie, Alien? I actually haven't. <laughs> you didn't even get my reference, man. You know what I did? I know I was just high fiving you because you were stoked. Oh, okay. That's a good friend. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I like to be pumped. Yeah. And I don't want to seem like an idiot. What, what, what would you do if the guy who murdered Chris Kyle walked into your house and was like, bro, up top, 
<laughs> I, I, would, Papa. I would hit him. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm not going to leave my, my dude hanging. Yeah, <laughs> what's up? I just killed Chris <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> All right. Uh, you do it again? You do it for a second? <laughs> no. You are Canadian. You're anti-patriot. <laughs> oh, my God. You go for a second one? No. I'm That's kidding. crazy. Oh, this is um some note. That oh yeah, yeah, right. About. Okay, so we have some some housekeeping to address. Yeah, and that is tit the plans with they're tit. coming to the show. <laughs> what tits? They're coming to the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're, we're bringing, getting some. We're bringing tits to the show. Yeah. So we're gonna have Noel and I are both gonna have big old um <laughs> jugs, big old fun. naturals. There's actually a new procedure for big old naturals. Yeah, yeah. No, we're going to put on the... <laughs> B-O-N. The... <laughs> You're going to get some bonbons. <laughs> the big old natural episode. Yeah. <laughs> we're both just going to come in with some big, big old naturals. Old. Yep. There's no better way to explain them. Really... I was going to go further, but there's just no better way. Nah. Um, That could be for huge nuts, too. Big old nuts? No, big old naturals. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. Just anything that comes in a pair. Yeah. Anyway... So, tit. Uh, the investigative show that all of you watch, one-to-one viewership ratio. Yes. Every single person who watches and listens to this show watches and listens to that show as well. We, You know, we make fun of it, but, like, it does have a solid audience now. It does. And uh, there was a lot of comments on the last one that was like, I like these a lot. Yeah. I like these way better than the original yeah. show. <laughs> Some people say that. Yeah. Some people say that. But um, we needed a little time back. Things are getting a little bit busy. You know, I have a kid coming. So uh, basically what we're going to do in the future is we're going to keep doing it, but it's going to be as a normal bonus episode, probably like once a month or something like that. Yeah. Instead of like a standalone show on our main feed. <clears throat> yeah. So if you like it, you can subscribe to TMG Studios and check out uh, Tit there. Had some, we had some good tit this year. Yeah, we had some great tits. We had some natural tits this year. Yeah. Like ones that just flowed. They were totally natural. Big old natural. Yeah, yeah, and they were long. Yeah. Big naturals. Big long naturals. <laughs> huge episodes sometimes. <laughs> yeah, it's... Big, huge, long naturals. Long naturals? <laughs> I think that's if you have, I don't know, like That's if you have a something. dick, a natural dick. Yeah. No dick implants. Yeah. Those aren't... Yeah, he had a big old natural. Yeah. He had a long natural. That'll be the discussion in 2052. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And they won't be saying that about me because I'll have a fake one. Yeah. If that ever becomes a thing. A fake little one? Fake long one. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to get a fake dick, but keep it the same size. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to... If they introduce dick implants, that's going to be... That's that's going to shift the power if you're an average guy. Yeah. Because then you can... um, You know, you might be among the rare. Yeah. Yeah. And then... People worldwide are like, I'm tired of having get just getting rearranged all the time. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna be an outlier for sure. Yeah, like you know those you see those women with like the comically massive fake boobs. Yeah, I'm gonna get the dick version of that. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say if you give dudes dick implants, they're, yeah, they're not gonna they're not gonna, they're they're gonna, gonna say anything less like, than fifteen. They're not gonna be like, I want like a shapely B. <laughs> yeah, I want to be like a shapely B cup. <laughs> I would like no, a 22 inch penis. Yeah, it's gonna be every time. I'd like a. 40, How many cc's can we go to? Yeah, I want a 46 inch penis. What's the max? <laughs> can we make it vibrate? Yeah. Can I put an engine in there? Don't get me started. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 seriously. I'll be popping the hood on my fucking yeah. 46 inch wiener. Yeah, there's gonna be fucking sponsorship stickers on yeah. mine. Wonder Bread. Yeah. That's actually a good. That's a good. That is actually that's kind of good. Yeah, you know, I got I got a Wonder Bread sponsor on my cock. Yeah. She's like, wow, it's that long? It's that like good white bread. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Peak that nationalism. A yeah, bit. yeah, yeah. It's, it's good white strong bread. white loaf. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Wonder bread. Um. Anyways. Yeah, so Tit. You can see it as a bonus episode next year. Next year, we're going to start doing it again. And who knows? And, um, maybe maybe we, enough people riot that we have to bring it back regularly. But Yeah, that's fine. I mean, we like doing it a lot. We and do. I, honestly, I like watching it, too. That's crazy. <laughs> Fuck you. What do you mean? I don't watch a single thing I'm in. 
No, sometimes you do. When we have a really good bit or whatever, you'll say. You'll be like, I, I listened to that. Yeah, I'll, I'll watch like 30 seconds. Like the gimp, the gimp suit shit? That that's, was during Tit. That's the first thing I've watched of us in a long time. And what was that again? Uh, it was the guy I'm who likes suitcase? wearing the gimp suit and he went on Love Island. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> he was just a freak on there. Yeah, right. Getting kicked in the balls and stuff. See, that was the beauty of Tit is that because we had something to go off of every mm-hmm. time, like there was a lot of fodder for yeah. jokes and new bits and stuff like that. Big riffing time. Yeah. It was a, some real natural riffs. Yeah. Riffing. Big, big natural riffs. Yeah. <laughs> and... uh so it was a lot of fun. And so we're going to continue doing it, but it's probably going to be coming back yeah, sometime in the new year. Yeah. Because I'm taking a little time off in January. Yeah. And Wait, why is that? What? Why is that? Because of my wife's stomach blessing. Mm. <laughs> we're expecting a little blessing. <laughs> That's his name. Yeah, little blessing. We're going to name him Blessing. <laughs> little bless. Little bless. It's me, Lil B. Yeah, Lil B. Yeah. Hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make cooking fun, easy, and affordable. Home cooking, I should say. Not just cooking. (sighs) Home cooking. Uh, And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Say hello to a stressless holiday season with the help of HelloFresh. Skip the grocery store and save time with easy, tasty recipes delivered to your door. After a full day of work, there's still so much to do. Some days, it feels like eating a wholesome dinner is next to <laughs> impossible. Indeed. But with HelloFresh, you can turn busy weeknights into memorable mealtimes with delicious practical options designed to save you time, like their 15-minute meals. Spend your time this month shopping for gifts and sipping cocoa, not stuck in the checkout line. Sign up for HelloFresh and get everything you need to whip up a fresh, tasty meal delivered right to your door. Just choose your recipes, select a delivery date, and relax knowing dinner is on the way. Did you know HelloFresh does more than just dinners? From easy breakfast to start your morning off right to 10-minute lunches or satisfying snacks both adults and kids will love, HelloFresh has tasty choices for every mealtime occasion. And the best part is no grocery trip required. HelloFresh has some amazing recipes that are all delicious and easy to make. They have pizza parlor meatball sandwiches, Szechuan pork noodle stir fry, and black bean and green pepper flautas. But you already know my favorite, the bibimbap. HelloFresh has over 45 recipes and more than 100 seasonal add-on items to choose from every week, so it's easier than ever to find something everyone will enjoy. Go to HelloFresh.com slash free and use code TINYMEATFREE for free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash free with code TINYMEATFREE. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. So that's the plan. And then also, more housekeeping. We're back next week to do Bone Zone Live on TeamGStudios.tv. You guys remember those? Remember the live Bone Zones? We used to do them semi-often. Well, we got one next week. So, And that'll be on TeamGStudios.tv. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then it says XOXOXO for some reason <laughs> on on the document. So. I think that was the uh, Dolphins defensive lineup last night. I don't get it. That shit was ass. Ah. <laughs> Woo! Dropped it to the Tennessee Titans. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You should be following. I know. Wait, wait let's see if I lost. Pretty sure I did. All the NFL guys on Twitter going fraud alert. Oh, really? Yeah, I actually... <clears throat> I was laughing at Big Cat's post. He posted a picture oh, man. of the um of your phone that's like when it says like maybe fraud. Okay. And it had like the Dolphins logo. <laughs> that's funny. You lost? Yeah, I did lose. Let's see that lineup, man. I'm four and ten now. <laughs> four and four ten and is ten, good. That's in, better than three and eleven. I'm in third last. So not the not horrible. I still I think I'm pretty like in risk of losing this whole thing, which would really suck. Do you, have you 
put any effort into trades like anything? No, I don't understand trading. Give me that, I give you this. I mean, I understand it like generally as a concept, but like in fo- <laughs> like I just don't know enough about football to make a good See the lineup, dude. Uh, I don't know. Screenshot fucking... Who it. Who gives it a to fuck me? anymore? <laughs> I'm fucked. I'm just giving up. I'm just riding the wave, you know? I'm just trying to have fun. How did you... Mm. All right. Cody's cool team. <laughs> I forgot you spelled that with three Ks. <laughs> yeah, team is not spelled with a K, dude. <laughs> Cody's cool team. Why did you spell it like that? <laughs> no, we did this already. Cody's we can't cool do it again. Team. <laughs> Tyler Lockett is he even having a good season. I don't know, dude. This is... He's rostered pretty highly. I mean, these points are abysmal, but. Okay, whatever. Dude. Get back! You should try, bro. <clears throat> unless you, I don't... unless you want to dress up like a furry and do the whole. Get ready with me. No, that would suck. I don't want to do that at all. Yeah. Oh, that would suck. <laughs> <laughs> Cody, why aren't you starting a quarterback this week? Yeah. I'm I am. Oh, what I didn't? <laughs> oh, there you still have time, dude. You could go and just put one in right now. <laughs> no my oh, you my fucking app is dead. You should the app's dead? Gotta charge it. You should weird out your whole league and try to lose on purpose. It'll take the wind out of the competition immediately. Couldn't you just bench all the players? Yeah. Like every single Something. one. And I don't think every single one. I think <laughs> you have so to... funny starting an empty team. Yeah, I think it, it... Dude, you are kicking my ass this <laughs> week. <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. You're kicking my ass. Bro, you don't have any players on your team. Dude, you are smacking my ass. <laughs> oh, I'm be so upset when I'm on camera. <laughs> yeah. Dressed like a little mouse. Dude, you are fucking me in the mouth this week. <laughs> That reminds me of that time we went with the uh, post. Sorry, name drop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you, you, drop, you drop this. There you go. Oh. And we were playing beer pong. and Same shoes, by the way. Yeah, they're similar, for sure. They're the same model. No, they're not. These are the 550s. Oh, jeez. Those are the... <laughs> Can I take it back then? Rush not plays it? What were we doing? We were playing. You guys were playing beer pong. I was just observing, and that one kid, every time he'd miss, he kept going, "Oh fuck my ass!" <laughs> who was that? I was just some dude who was there. Okay. And then from that, like, I've always wanted to do a sketch where it just like keeps going, one going. Kid yeah, just, yeah. By the end, he's like, "God, you're all sl- stuffing my mouth with your cocks." <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah. I guess we are. Yeah, that's And then they all start getting head from him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, dude, what happened this weekend? Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Just Honestly, zero. parents were in town. Zilch. Went for a couple runs, went for a couple hikes, got a couple smoothies. I did some Christmas baking. Mm. Honestly, just real domestic shit. <laughs> you know? What'd you do? I gotta think about it. Oh, by the way, our song's doing pretty well. Is it? Yeah. That's good. We don't have to play it. Why don't we run it, actually? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Why doesn't everyone run it in their sleep as well? <laughs> Let's get it to number one. Man, can't believe he did that. What? Mr. Bieber. Oh, yeah. Everyone needs to play yeah, this song yeah. in their sleep. Yeah, and that was the one about like eating babies too, wasn't it? Something like Tasty? That. Wasn't it about like eating kids? Yeah, pull up the lyrics to that yummy. <laughs> yummy, yeah, yeah. No, it wasn't, but like the video was all kids, remember? I thought it was that banquet hall thing. Oh yeah, yeah, it was children. What am I thinking of? Yeah, yeah. The no. lyric video, I think that's what it was. Maybe search the lyric video. <laughs> or or no, it was his Instagram promo for it. Uh, Search Just Me Were Yummy Instagram promo. <laughs> like, he would just post pictures of babies and it would say, hashtag yummy. <clears throat> oh, man. They had the, you know. <laughs> like, what he the fuck? He kept it up. He kept it up. 
It was right in front of our eyes the whole time. Oh, look at that pizza you gate, see? you monsters. He's talking about adrenochrome. That's what the song's actually. I was gonna about. say he's not. He's not doing any favors for the people that believe. You know that. The, you know they're siphoning the baby blood and eating the you know baby foreskin. Yep. Look at how many times he did it. I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. I'm late to this. <laughs> this is a funny tweet. Leaves fans confused after he posts 13 pictures of seemingly random babies with the caption "yummy" on his Instagram. <laughs> like, why the <laughs> fuck? This is indefensible. <laughs> Like, there's not a, even a single reason why you could sort of surmise that would make this make sense. You can't walk it back from here. You just... the he's, only he's the on, eating babies. The only thing he can say is, I wanted to eat them. Then yeah. everyone would be like... Oh, I guess, yeah, it kind of makes sense. Kind of hard on his... Yeah. <laughs> kind of sick. <laughs> then that would start the political discourse. Isn't that crazy? It is. I didn't realize. I remember the whole eating baby thing, but I never knew where that that came from. Yeah. It's like, Justin Bieber eats kids. <laughs> <laughs> it's because of that. It's because so. he, he's pretty, he was the one that yeah. self-professed it, kind of. What marketing genius was like, you should post the child. I, I don't think anyone told him to do that. No, I think he was not. just kind of shooting from the hip. He's like, I think I got a feeling in my stomach this is going to be, this is right. Like, this is really going to be good <laughs> promo. Dude. And he didn't tell anyone. He just posted that, and then his PR hit him up. His PR, like, you know, someone in the office was like, yo, what the? Justin just posted this. And they're like, oh, fuck. I'm picturing what is that? his artist mentality and his artist voice going, it's going to mess with people's minds because this song is called Yummy. But if you post a kid, they're going to go, what do these things have to do with each other? And it's like, yeah rightfully so <laughs> yeah yeah exactly <laughs> and he goes no <laughs> it's cool <laughs> 13 of them too he he chose that number on purpose man yeah he went hard he gave them all the baphomet yeah. i guess oh yeah went to the forest was sitting there with bill clinton yeah here you go mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah you think by the 10th one people were like all right dude you really got to stop doing this as soon as pr agent begging please please <laughs> Please, Justin has to stop posting the babies. Please, <laughs> Justin, put the phone down. Put There's the nothing phone. Nothing yummy about these babies. Why are you scared? I'm gonna post a yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at how many more 11. I have. Look at how many more I have saved to my to my photo album. <laughs> how long were you searching babies for? Do you I think he went to those people's right houses <laughs> and take a picture? <laughs> like he's like, I want. We want to use your kid for a marketing role. They're like, <laughs> awesome. And he just walks in. He's like, hey. Like, what's up? Mm. I'm gonna post it now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so cool, Justin. Thank you so much. Yummy. <laughs> He's in your living room. Yeah. Yummy. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, SeatGeek. You know, listen, I've been looking f- to find the best deal on Creed tickets. Yeah. Online. Are they on tour right now? I don't think they're playing shows. I think Olivia anymore. Rodrigo's on tour. Oh, she is. Yeah, you could. Find well, maybe some. I'll look, yeah, maybe I'll find some tickets. Uh, you know, for that show, which is why I always turn to SeatGeek. With over twenty-eight million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one rated ticketing app. There are more than seventy thousand events every single day on SeatGeek, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. With artists like Taylor Swift, Post Malone, the nineteen seventy-five, and Noah Khan, they're all on tour. You're not going to want to miss out. Plus, football is back. We went to uh, Renee Rapp recently. Incredible show. I love the SeatGeek app. I use it all the time. See what's going on these days. Check it out. There it is right there. See what we got. Um, Depeche mode. Okay. What else we got? Rolling loud. Okay. Well, SeatGeek, they all they put all the tickets across the web in one place to make sure you are getting a good deal. Each ticket is rated on a scale of 1 to 10. So look for the green dots. Green means good. Red means bad. Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee. And SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return tickets ahead of an event with swaps. And you know we came through for you guys. 
Use our code TMG for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code TMG. Just make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. That's so wild, man. I can't believe I can't believe that. <clears throat> 13 times. Yeah. <laughs> Bro. Pretty wonder, wild. I wonder how they tasted. JK. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he actually ate them. <laughs> Maybe that was like, I'm about to eat this baby. <laughs> Maybe it's like people put on Instagram post their lunch, right? Yeah. That no, I was gonna say that's we're we're behind on this. I like the pizza gate people, that's what they saw. Yeah, yeah. They were like, Well duh. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. gonna eat that fucking kid. Yeah. Which he may have. He may have eaten that baby. At that le- at that level of power? I mean, maybe he was he's posting it post eating it. Yeah. He's just kind of sitting there like in that sort of like, oh man, yeah. fucking that was good. Just, yummy. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta let the people know about this one. This is going to a place, isn't it? Yep. Kind of dark. So girl, anyways, I girl, you got that yummy. Yeah. Sorry, I just don't know what those lyrics have to do with that. With babies. Yeah. Yeah. And the kids in the video? I don't think there is kids in the video, is there? No. It, what do we just I, see? I was thinking about his Instagram promo. Play this? Oh, that person just looks very young. No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember thinking for the budget. What the hell was this? The pink hair is sick. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's extremely cool. Yeah, we're going to look back on this one and think, man, what a absolute classic. And he completely looks like he wants to be there. Yeah, yeah. He completely looks into this concept. Um, I just don't understand... What are the lyrics? Girl, <laughs> he kind of looks like Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> they got like the same. You know what's funny about music videos? If you just cut enough times in a 30 second period, you can't really have an opinion about it. Yeah. It's a, uh, well, I, I kind of like this part. <clears throat> no, it's very true. Yeah. I feel like they used to do that way more. They did. Like, it would be, like, every fucking half second there's a cut, so you never really, like, feel good about watching it because you're yeah. always like, whoa, wait, wait. That's why 2000s music videos were fun. They were, like, full stories. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, dude, I fucking, so, okay, the first time I brought up Bevo. Yep. And you were like, oh, he doesn't swallow. Yep. And then we tried to, like, find the clip of it, and we couldn't really find, like, real proof. Yep. And that clip of him went viral this week. Yep. Of him eating the potato, and I have to say I'm, I'm wrong. You were right. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. It is one of the funniest things I've ever seen now. I don't know if, like, I wonder, Spock and I were talking, Spock goes, you know, this dude had a moment where he's like, I'm going to die. <laughs> what did, what like when he like when the full potato went down there must have been a, a millisecond you can see it in his face yeah he yeah. does he goes like he stops and he's like oh fuck yeah <laughs> I, yeah it's longer than a moment I would say it's a solid like second let's see it 7 out of 10 potatoes by the way this is just art potatoes Bevo gulping a potato <laughs> <laughs> and he's sick bang <laughs> this dude drank a potato. Do you see so, how long you can just feel the pain? Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> oh that shit. Look right there, dude. This might be the one. This might be the one. <laughs> this might be the one. I think I said this last time, but he needs to go up against um who's buddy who wins uh Nathan's hot dog eating? Yeah, uh here? Johnny Appleseed? No. <laughs> Johnny, what is it? Johnny Appleseed. It's something with apple in it, isn't it? Tim Apple? Macintosh? Who? Somebody must Joey know this Chestnut. guy. Cody Chestnut. Cody Chestnut. That's pretty close. He's one of you, man. Joey Chestnut? Yeah. Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> <laughs> Somewhat close. You can pretty see where my close. brain was going. Pretty close. Yeah. <laughs> That's how my brain works, dude. 
Just like if it lands in the same area, <laughs> then it's good enough. Say it. Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to start fucking up your own kid's name. And you're like, I was close. <laughs> hey, hey. Shut up. You came from my balls. <laughs> Bevo B. Be- it's Bevo not great, might. Dad. It's blessing. Ah, oh, fucking. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. Huh? Same thing. Dude, I feel like Bevo would just wash these guys. Yeah. Four, four dogs at a time. Yeah, Ooh. yeah. <laughs> that face is so funny, dude. <laughs> so he's a really funny guy. Like, do you follow him now in his sort of uh, escapades? I let the algorithm, you know, just give it to me. Sometimes I tap in. Okay. I, I you know, I just search people now. I'm like, what the fuck's Bevo? Yeah, so, yeah. So you've seen, like, the lore with, like, the Bevo, like, from what I can pick up, Not it's like he got up. a little bit of attention online. He just turned into, like, a rapper. <laughs> Oh. Like he's got a chain that says Bevo on it. The other day he's like live streaming from his like fucking sprinter van with this girl. And he's like, you know the rules, it's Bevo in it. Oh. Like, dude, <laughs> it's so fucking funny, man. Yeah. This is some Northern UK he, like, flexing right cash here. cash and shit like that? This is Northern UK right here. Flexing money is wild. Yeah, that's me, man. I'm the one who drinks the potato. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man, anything you want. The fame. This isn't you. So a lot of people are like, dude, the money has gone to your head. It's like, what What money? He's been like, you know what I mean? Yeah. He reviews food and it's been, he's been like, it's been like a month. Hey, like, I don't even know. How do you even get a brand deal in that time? He may not need it. That's how balling he is. <laughs> how? What? Like, where is he getting money? We don't know. Clearly. I mean, look at that Sprinter van. <laughs> The Bevo chain. Like, go, go down. <laughs> like, where he's <laughs> holding it up right there. <laughs> the Bevo chain is so crazy. Look at this. <laughs> oh, he's in Thailand or something. <laughs> oh, that's why he's balling, man. He's going wherever the exchange rate's going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big old Vietnam. <laughs> John Mean. I got big up the, Lao. Big up Lao. <laughs> we got the sprint in Lao. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Brand new chain made straight from child labor. <laughs> it's fucking banging. I'm going to go swallow an entire bok choy later. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that dude ripping a bok choy out of the earth and just a <laughs> little bit of water. <laughs> Yo, big up Guatemala. <laughs> Wait, go so go back. There's one that I want to play. Big if up we can Lau. find it. Uh, okay, s- yeah, keep scrolling down. Okay, that one of him to the left says, Mr. Take Your B. <laughs> play that one and put... He just fart? Okay, so you know what he's doing, right? Like, he's just... This yeah. is what he's doing. Look how long this video is. It's a minute. He just does this the whole time. That's how you make money on TikTok now. Over Extre- a minute videos. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Bro. That's gotta feel- oh, this has got to feel so good for her. It's like, dude. It's got to be awesome when you're sitting behind Bevo and he's pointing at you <laughs> to the er- to the world going, Mrs. Psycho Bitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. That's got to feel awesome. <laughs> She's like, I'm with a king right now. <laughs> oh, he's doing it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah there you rain, go. Brother. Got an <laughs> extremely painful watch, Bebo. <laughs> this was a minute longer than it needed to be. <laughs> so half the people are like, the fame's getting to you, Bebo. And the other half are like, nah, keep doing you, yeah. Bebo. Love the positivity. <laughs> Don't you can't listen to those people, man. <laughs> they are completely lying to you. Because you, you know what they're doing. It's like yeah, Brian's friend. More of this. It's like Br- Brian's friend who like comments on shit with one like going, "Why isn't this viral?" <laughs> yeah, exactly. Vivo's <laughs> <laughs> really out here thinking he's a G. I, I wish, wish I was, I was a- this delusional. Damn. He acknowledged the no true on one of his older videos. Oh. Yeah, I know. Now he kind of does it on purpose too. That's what's gonna get him killed, dude. That's yeah. why I did that potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I saw him do one recently where it was like a big ass chunk of meat. And he's oh, like, I no. might have to, I might have to actually chew this. Guys, guys, you get no, we gotta stop, man. We're yeah, gonna get yeah, we're gonna get him killed. On live. Yeah. 
<laughs> You're the one that said he could beat fucking Johnny Appleseed. That's hot dogs, man. Yeah, he could choke on that. <laughs> I don't think so. I think there's, I think there's enough. You think in they there. just slide down? I think so. Yeah. What I'm more worried about is you Some know big ass chunk of steak or he's something. He's like, all right, United rules. No. <laughs> <laughs> that just literally no. like he does that face and it just stays. I was thinking he's like, he's just like, what's up TikTok? You know what it is? Fifteen gram truffle. It's just a hard chunk of truffle. Yeah. <laughs> It's like pure iron. We're going to tight this one. <laughs> Damn, that's dark, man. <laughs> that's fucking dark. Bevo, All don't do it, man. Like, big up, Bevo. Big <laughs> up. Big up. <laughs> big up, R.I.P. Oh, fuck. Damn. Hopefully you know the rules. Yeah, you know the rules. <laughs> you know what the are rules. the rules? <laughs> this is the, this is the one where he acknowledges stuff. Oh, he's also been turning on like the teeth filter on all of his videos, uh, so his teeth look vibrant white. Oh, uh, like, so funny. They got to him. Yeah, he's turned into a chav. That's yeah, all I it know. is. His chav transformation. He's, yeah, chav transformation. style. You know the rules. This and big up the Asians. Big up, Mucha. <laughs> oh, nah. Ew. <laughs> Big up the Asians? This motherfucker got a boner as he's saying this shit, man. <clears throat> you saw the sauce he put on that? Wait, no. What did he Big say? up the Asians. <laughs> yeah. With the smile. Big he up the Asians. He said that because he knows he's about to go to Thailand, too. Yeah, That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. Big up Lao. Big up the Asians. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know if there's any Asian women who watch that and go, oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> me? Bevo, me? <laughs> oh my god, Bevo. And you know the rules, and if you don't know the rules, get to know the rules, baby. But come on now. Oh, he's turning into Austin Powers. <laughs> Austin Powers. You know the rules, oh, yeah. baby. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, let's rate you out of 10. Let's enjoy it. Apparently, I don't chew enough, but I don't need to chew. Watch. Chicken as well, yeah? Chicken. Oh. Uh, no true needed. He's going to die, man. I mean, that's impressive. <laughs> it's That is impressive. fucking impressive. He just full on just swallowed that like a pill. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. But he's... With a smile on his face, too. Yeah. That look. He, man, he he is talented. <laughs> I, t- I told you. I think he deserves crazy. all the... I think all the flexing is deserved. I mean, I try to tell you, man. This guy could drink a fire hydrant. Oh, yes, guys. It's time for another quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Skylight Calendar. Listen, running a busy household can be pure chaos. It can be very stressful. Keeping track of who has what, when, what's for dinner, what do we need from the grocery store? Did someone feed the dog? Did someone feed the dog? No, but it really, you know, it can be. It's like, you know, I'm I'm a person that, that finds organization very stressful. Yeah. So it's hard for me to plan shit, get shit locked down on the cal. Yeah, I feel that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I was like, the other day, I, Elena and I were just kind of head down on some work, and I'm like, God, did you feed the dog? Dude, that shit happens to me all the time. Yeah. Did you? No, no one fed the dog. <laughs> we just didn't end up feeding it. Yeah, He's, he's, Did you feed the dog? No. Did you? No. That reminds me. I don't think I fed the dog today. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I don't even think I have a dog. <laughs> well, we all know the my best. My wife said, do we have a dog? And she said, are you okay? You've been forgetting stuff a lot. Who are you? Why are you in my house? Yeah. Whose dog is this? <laughs> Who are you people? <laughs> Get out. Why am I at the park? Oh, my God. The best gift under the tree that will give you and your loved ones peace of mind and more joy to enjoy things and people that matter most is the Skylight Calendar. The Skylight Calendar is a smart touchscreen calendar and organizer for all your chores, groceries, and your to-dos. It automatically syncs all of the different digital calendars and events your family uses and shows them all together on one beautiful touchscreen display. Skylight Calendar is the best way to give your family peace of mind to enjoy the things that matter most. Like joy. Mm-hmm, indeed. 
The Skylight Calendar is super easy to set up and use. It works by syncing events from already existing calendars you have, including Google, Outlook, and Apple calendars. Wow. Updates to linked calendars will automatically appear on the Skylight Calendar at home. You can also add events directly using the touchscreen or with the free Skylight mobile app. Events are color-coded so you can visually map out and see your family's plans for the week. The calendar comes in two sizes, small, 10 inches, or large, 15 inches. Large is wall-mountable. There are multiple view options to choose from, day, week, or month views, or set it to schedule view to see a few days at a time formatted in hour-by-hour blocks. Easily manage household tasks with the chore chart feature. Kids can check off chores when they complete them and watch their progress bar update. When they complete their chores, there is an emoji celebration. That's awesome. Additional fun features include dinner planning, grocery lists, daily weather display, plus weather forecast based on the address of your events. 100% satisfaction is guaranteed. If you don't love the Skylight calendar, you'll receive a full refund. They offer a 120-day money-back guarantee and free returns. And as a special limited time offer for our listeners, get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight calendar when you go to skylightcal.com slash gang. To get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight calendar, just go to skylightcal.com slash gang. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-C-A-L dot com slash gang. <laughs> yeah. Keep playing it. <laughs> you know the rules, baby. You don't need to chew your food. You don't. I chew like you said. <laughs> Yeah, that's the funniest thing he's ever <laughs> yeah, said. Yeah. You imagine some little kids watching this shit? Like, oh, fuck. <laughs> if they hear this motherfucker, they're going to be like, he's just in school. I don't need to chew my food. <laughs> kids, kids are choking all over the country because of this fucking Bevo dumbass. <laughs> Bevo, pick up the no swallow. Pick up the no swallow. <laughs> No, I don't do that shit, man. Swallowing gay. <laughs> no, it's just the other way. Be chewing is. You don't need to chew your food. You don't need to chew your food. <laughs> That's so funny, dude. So you can. Oh fuck, my god. So you can fuck boy while you're eating. Yeah. Just <laughs> that'll be the new technique. You're on a date with a girl. You enjoying it? <laughs> <laughs> Me too. No, I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, what'd you say you do for work again? <laughs> cool. No, that sounds sick. <laughs> <laughs> no, this pasta is really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just maintain the smile the whole time. <laughs> He's growling a bite. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's lit. It's slapping. <laughs> this place fucking rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the craziest type of influencing. Yeah. Just telling people to do shit that'll <laughs> literally kill them. That's crazy. You don't- no, big up ammonia and bleach. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be I've been mixing those on the regular. Just you should you should definitely try that. <laughs> you don't need to chew your food. I mean, that's just the funniest thing. What a fucking guy. <laughs> With the gel dude, the gel in his hair, the chain. I know you don't need to chew your food. <laughs> Mate, you don't need to chew your food. You could be just <laughs> like me. You could be just like me. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh my god. We're regressing, man. It's awesome. You know, six it's months awesome. ago, it was little boys coming to school telling their teachers, get back in the kitchen. I mean, didn't we do like four episodes about smoking cigarettes? Yeah, we did. Kind yeah, of so the same we're, thing. We're, yeah, we're, we're right we're there with them. It. Yeah. Yeah. But smoking cigs is cool. It's cool. Yeah, I know. That's different because <laughs> it's actually cool. Mate, you don't need to chew your food. <laughs> <laughs> the sincerity is f- killing me, man. Holy shit. Just to keep everyone happy. But, yeah, big up the sweet sir. Did he just say, I'll chew to keep... Other- oh, my God, man. I'll just chew to keep like the government happy or whatever. Yeah, yeah the ladies. <laughs> uh, the ladies want to see me chew. 
tasting banging tonight. Big up her. Big up the personal chef. You know you are. <laughs> Big Bevo and that. Bevo Senior. <laughs> Please, guy, please, know, the, Mr. Bevo is my father's name. The tangible difference in his in his vibe is hilarious. I know, right? It used to be so genuine. He had no idea why, like, people liked him, <clears throat> and now it's like three months ago he just you know stinky ass bedroom. Yeah, hey guys, you know he's yeah, <laughs> you know the rules. Pick up the chips. I don't know why I say that. You know the rules. Yeah, yeah, know. yeah. It's silly. I don't pick know. up chip shop. Pick up. Big up dad. Thanks, dad, for cooking yeah. for me, dad. <laughs> yeah, now big up the personal chef. Yeah. <laughs> big switch. <laughs> oh, shit, do you think he walks around the house now just barking at people? Mate, heat that shit up, mate. Yeah. I've got to make TikTok. I'm fucking Bevo. You know who it is, innit? I'm Mr. Take Your Bitch. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> I'll fuck mom and nan and all that. <laughs> Behave yourself. <laughs> That's so wild, man. Something I'll go. It's all right. Rice a bit bland. Pineapple. <laughs> it's also fucking awesome to be reviewing food <clears throat> you can't have. Like reviewing food from your dad that cooked it. Uh, it's so fun. It's so much funnier than like reviewing food from a restaurant where you could go and also have that food. Yeah. Like he's just like, my dad's good at cooking. <laughs> but like, we'll never taste that. We don't know the recipe. We don't know any, we don't know what it is. Even crazier for him to go, rice is bland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't recommend the rice. Yeah. Like, like we can't, I don't know what it is. <laughs> I'll never know your dad. He passive really aggressive as hell. Yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't rate this rice. Yeah. Open the door. I wouldn't rate this right. <laughs> yeah. Close the door. Slam it, please. Yes. Slam it, open it, slam You're it again. Shitting on your dad. Yeah. I wouldn't rate this rice. He slam the door. I'm like every fucking night too. <laughs> this rice is ass. Oh, big up the pineapple. Does pineapple belong on pizzas? Let me know down below. Oh shit! Oh shit! Now mark my words, man. Give it like a couple months. He's gonna start getting political. Oh yeah. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, maybe. That right there, that's the beginnings. <clears throat> yeah. Give it two months. Yeah, he's like, I actually fuck with Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to be a few years behind because the UK is always behind yeah. in trends. So he's going to be there like, do you know these blue hair girls? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They keep telling me like what I should be thinking. And <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to put he, him in my bio. <laughs> yeah, I'm Bevo. I mean, they're all right though. I hate my pronouns are Bevo. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. You got, you got some boogers? Yeah, I'm a little sick. I think I just have a, like a gnarly fever. <laughs> I'm kidding. It always works. <laughs> it always fucking yeah. works. Yeah, I got some some boogs. <clears throat> yeah. He's going to get political, man. Give it two months. It's going to happen. That little commentary right there. And, and also, man, the, the fuckboyism is just... It's undeniably hilarious. Mm -hmm. Do pineapples belong on pizza? Let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments. I think they make my semen taste good. Wait, did we comment on that? <laughs> yeah, we remember doing that. <laughs> yeah, well, damn. <laughs> damn, Lauren. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> Making us look thirsty out here. <laughs> yeah, the two exclamation marks is a little much. I was looking like hoes and a self like. Oh my god! Damn. Big up, Bevo. Big up. Big up, Bevo. Holy fuck! Big up. Need a Bevo segment? Oh, you got one. Damn, bro. This is the ideal Chav build. Um, yeah. I'm happy that I could catch you up on the lore. You think this dude is popping into the clubs in like Manchester and shit? Yeah, I mean, if he's ladies and gentlemen, we've got a massive guest in the building <laughs> yeah. tonight. It's Bevo. Ladies, cover your tits. You're gonna <laughs> swallow the whole thing. He doesn't chew. He's the right one to go down on you. It's the one and only Bevo. And he gets up there. Yeah. Bunch of Asian girls putting orange chicken <laughs> on their <laughs> chest. Yeah, and nice. Shit. 
<laughs> he's, he's making it rain orange chicken. Uh, big up, big up. Girls catching it and not, and not chewing. You say that he's going to not chew their tits? Yeah. Cover your tits because he's... He'll the, swallow the whole thing. <laughs> he'll swallow the tits? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maximum pleasure. One gulp. Yeah. <laughs> Fit your whole breast in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fucking... Yeah, just maximum I moisture. I love the way on, Bevo swallows my tits. Yeah, maximum pressure and uh, moisture on the uh, areola. <laughs> Consistent. Never a cold spot. Yeah, yeah. You know, when men use their tongue, it's like the sweep in the floor, you know? Yeah. There's always going to be a cold portion. Yeah, yeah. But this fool will just fuck. Teeth out, too. Teeth out. yeah. That's what you'll see on the top of your tits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you look down and you say, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, ah, it's banging. <laughs> he's got both of them yeah, in, the, yeah. in the center of your chest. He's got both. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a Meat Canyon <laughs> cartoon. <laughs> we got to get Meat Canyon to fucking draw this. <clears throat> oh, Hunter loves that. Hunter loves when you tell him something to draw. <laughs> Hunter yeah. loves when you tell him something to draw. Draw it, Hunter. Yeah. Yeah, he he loves when people are like, you know, you should make a cartoon about yeah, that. Yeah, he yeah, loves dude. that. Yeah, yeah. Does he? I'll he hit him up after this. Then yeah, I'll give yeah. him a call. We both do. Give yeah, a group chat. Oh yeah, that's what we Yo, should do. Yo, dude, we have this idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have a hilarious idea, and dude. This one will go viral thing. for sure. <laughs> this one's viral. <laughs> this one's viral. Yeah, oh, and also Bebo, give it like, you know, everyone's on his head. You know, the fame's gotten to you. Give it two weeks, and it's gonna start to, you know, the counter narrative is gonna pop up. Yeah. Yo, why is Bevo kind of? Oh. Yo, why he kind of? Oh. Gonna, it's gonna start. I see. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. everything's all aesthetic. Yeah. And liking Bevo is gonna be an aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's quite attractive. Uh, the, I think people do like him. I mean, yeah, he's got charisma. Yeah, undeniably. Oh yeah, for sure. I think I think that's what it is. Is nerds were like, this is our guy. Yeah. He's like us, and they didn't know. Nah. Bevo this- is the throat goat. <laughs> <laughs> now they're realizing, nah, man, Bevo is, um, he's not one of the dorks. Yeah. He's he's one of the boys. Yeah. He was waiting for his moment. You don't need to chew your food, Bevo. We need to fucking make that a poster. <laughs> you don't need to chew We need to, to put it in your... children's schools. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to chew your food. <clears throat> Think critically, people. You don't need to chew your food. <laughs> they just tell you you have to. <laughs> That's the problem with the UK. They always want to tell you what to do when you can use your phone, when you can't, how you think, how you speak. Nah. Stop chewing. Stand up to the man. Stop Don't chew, chew your food. <laughs> Got these old guys in pubs. No, he's fucking right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't chew me food anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to chew my food. I'm not going to chew my food anymore. Just in, a fr- in front of a bowl of soup. <laughs> you weren't chewing it anyway. <clears throat> Little soup joke. Yeah. Drink. Just putting a straw in a fucking shepherd's pie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Crust included. Banging. Banging. That's banging. Bangin', that's banging. That's that's next. That'll be a music video song titled "That's Banging." Oh, you're definitely right dude. yeah uk 1, drill thousand percent and then you know the rules i said that's banging we'll next and then big up will be next yeah because me and hanging yeah write it for him yeah right now okay that's that's it that's all I have to that's say. it yeah what was it that's banging I'm your in- big naturals are hanging yeah big naturals hanging my meat swinging yeah. Go to chip shop, mommy swinging. <laughs> For the chips? Yeah. I'm hard. I like chips in my mouth. <laughs> they think I'm a something, you know, but you know, he'll talk about how he's from the South. And, yeah, okay. And, you know, some other shit. Yeah. Even though South is like nice and <clears throat> preppy. Yeah. Then you'll get the Dave feature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dave will just blow it. No, yeah, right, dude. You, you listen to that new song? What? Dave and Jack Harlow? Uh, I saw it. For you a, saw it? I saw it for but a brief moment. You saw the song? 
I saw Jack posted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I told you, man. I've been pretty I've had too much. Been, what did you shoot on Friday? I've had too much phone lately. What did you shoot on Friday? Oh, I, I, I can say it. Oh, okay. I shot the uh, opening sequence to the return episode of Hot Laps. Oh yeah, right, 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 right. How'd that go? I think it went well. Nice. I was editing all day yesterday. Oh, nice. Back in the saddle. Wow. Yeah. Back yeah. at the command center. Mm-hmm. Cutting How'd it that up. feel? Good. Excruciating. Yeah. Yeah. It's mentally the worst shit ever to look at myself. Really? For me, yeah. Oh. But did it feel good to edit again? <clears throat> did it feel creative? good to cut? Like, it feels good. It feels good to cut, that's for sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, I hate watching myself. Yeah, that's fair. I love it. <laughs> Can't get enough of it, honestly. No. Do you, cut, do you cut your own footage? You're like, good joke, Cody. <laughs> no, I don't watch anything anymore, actually. Yeah. Like, not even my videos. I used to like, watch my videos. <clears throat> watch them down? Now I, yeah, I don't. No. Nah. Nah, mate. Which is nah. the way it should be. <clears throat> yeah, I don't. <clears throat> I don't like looking at myself. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. I don't like looking at us. Yeah, I we lose. don't like looking at us. So Love Island is coming back with Love Island All Stars. Ooh. Which I thought was the same as Love Island Games, but it's a different show. But with yeah, do you know who's who's on it yet? Have they said? Fuck, man! If they brought back like, there's so many fucking good people. Yeah. You know. All the ex Islanders rumored. Wait. Oh, is this the rumor? Yeah, Obi, Obi. will be sick. <clears throat> yeah. Aww. Yeah, Obi, you're going to be on it. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Not even knowing. <laughs> Holy fuck, they cast me? <clears throat> Hi, I'm Bye. Obi. I've met Gavin Newsom. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I met Gavin Newsom when I was nine. Who else? Keep going. <clears throat> Paige, Paige Thorn, I don't remember her. I remember Paige. She was How the fan favorite. It wasn't it Paige and Jack? Yeah, Jax. Jax. Okay, keep going down. Paige. I'd recognize her if I saw her. Oh, Mora, of course. She was on the Love Island Games too, just as a host. Keep going. Faye would be good. Yeah. Yeah, man. All your all your favorites. Megan. Wow. But she just fucking left. Love Island Games is so funny. One of the episodes, they're like, yeah, Megan's got a medical problem, and then she just wasn't in the rest <clears throat> of the show. Medical problem? I wonder what her medical problem was. Georgia. Nah, she, Georgia. She was on Love Island Games, too. She kind of... She kind of... <laughs> what? You said what? Oh, I'm not like... I'm just saying she kind of sucks. Oh. Like, as a person, she just was kind of like... I thought you said... Her. Her face or something, and you were like, Ugh. like she's kind of looking horrible these days. No, 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 like, oh. no, no, no. She just did. You get the same sense? I didn't get there. Ah, uh, she got a stank her attitude. Just, yeah, her personality just wasn't wasn't the best. It wasn't Bevo, you know. Yeah, well, That's Liberty, kind of the bar for personality now for me. Liberty's eyes, Bevo, Toby. They putting that boy back in there. <clears throat> these are just all the people that were on Lebron <clears throat> Games. Yeah, stupid. Yeah. So sorry, I didn't I think I didn't uh cut you off before. What did you do this no, weekend? No, if they if they want Love Island All Stars, they gotta go get the original winners from season one two. I wanna see that guy from season one who's like a construction worker who just chain smoke outside the villa. Yeah. John I didn't watch season one. And he didn't work out. He's like the epitome of just a regular dude. Yeah. I wanna see that guy in there and just he just cleans up. Yeah. They need to take it back to those days, like when it was about smoking cigarettes. Yeah. And hooking up. Yeah. Everyone in the villa used to smoke cigarettes. Remember that? Yeah. Look up Johnny season one. And Chris. Chris? Chris. Top right? Bring back Chris. I don't remember. I'll Chris and Kim? You don't remember that? Vaguely. Season three? Oh my God. Vaguely. They were the fucking best. Yeah, that one to the left right there. That yoked ass dude with the gauges in the second row. <laughs> was that him? No, he was just another guy on there. He was this big roided out guy and he'd get emotional and it just looked super funny. <laughs> Cause he was tanned as hell and his eyes would get red and he just whenever he get emotional, it looked like he's he just hit 
the bong like 14 <laughs> times. His eyes just lit up. Just <laughs> Yeah, dude. They got to go back to smoking on set. All of them used to smoke. That and smoking cigarettes, we all know, is good and cool. Yeah. Uh, look at Love Island season one cast. This is um, this is modern Johnny. We need the old Johnny. Where's that dude at? No, not you. Search UK. You've got preface now. UK. There it is. Is it? <clears throat> oh yeah, we <laughs> go down, go down. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it was the third row. <clears throat> yeah, that guy. That guy. Fucking hell. No, 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 no. You just had it. Close that shit. Scroll up. Second row. Where it's showing the, the two couples who are about to win. Left. Yeah. That guy on the right. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dude, that, that's Bevo. That's fucking Bevo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe that's what's next for Bevo. Love Island. Love Island. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that would be so good. Oh my goodness. God damn, that'd be so good. So for this His challenge, speech, you have to, like, uh, yeah, big up Faye. Yeah, I'm you're good banging. Faye. She's banging, and uh, my girlfriend at home's gonna be so pissed. But <laughs> I'm here. I'm here to lock in with Faye, <clears throat> bro. Uh, the 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 game where they have to like swallow shit and spit it into each other's mouths yeah oh he would bevo would love that bevo's like open up yeah one well, fell Bevo's just swallowing it all <laughs> like dude bevo you gotta <laughs> save something spit it into the fucking thing that's what the game's about he's like it's well seasoned isn't it that's not what they brought me sorry it's well mouth. seasoned is it in it what's this guy up to man i want to know where are they now where are they now there yeah dude john clark Bring back John Clark. <laughs> this guy was fucking weak too. <laughs> that, you know, this dude is really um. That's the Love Island effect right there. Four hundred thousand followers, and he gets twelve comments. <laughs> Not that I'm engagement watching. Damn, bro. You know, I feel like that's like a you know pocket watching. Yeah. In a way. Yeah, it is. But that is kind of crazy, isn't it? It is. But, I mean, bro, that was 2015. When's the last time he even posted? June. Yeah, it's been a minute. What is he thinking about how I, I am about to smash the Palm Beach Casino? He's thinking about it. You know what I love, too? He's I mean, still, he probably won. He still posts. I have to like think about gambling. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for some reason I've got a gambling kick. <laughs> I got a little kick for gambling. <clears throat> he still posts like it's two thousand five or some shit. Yeah. Sepia filters and all. <laughs> yeah. Look at me eating. This is me in a pool. Eighty nine sixty nine weeks. <clears throat> Seems like he's doing well. <laughs> Good on him, man. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a be there's a there's a, there's some joke with Bevo posting a picture or eating a baby or something. Yeah. There's some callback there. Yeah. What is it? Not us yummy. That's yummy. <laughs> yeah. Big up the baby. That would make people <laughs> That'd be a crazy uh crazy thing. If he just posted on his Instagram, if he just mocked Justin's post. Yeah. That's how you get his foot into America. Justin Bevo. <laughs> There it is. Teamwork, man. Teamwork. Justin Bevo. Justin Bevo. <laughs> yeah, go. You got that yummy yum. Yummy. Yeah. Can <laughs> we can we get a a machine learning expert to replace to to run I don't know like four thousand computers to replace Please. Justin Bieber with Bevo? Please. Actually, in that music video, someone can do this. I know they can because it's probably pretty fucking easy. Yeah. Use Dream Work or Dream. What's it? Dream, yeah. What is it? Dream Labs. Yeah, whatever the one where you can like replace celebrities' faces with your own. Please do that with Bevo and Justin Bieber. And the yummy make music Justin video. Be Bevo. Justin Bevo, man. 
Go, you got that? Oh, actually, people lose their accent when they sing, or they can. Yeah. So he'll just be same old. Oh, you want to make the eight the voice? <laughs> yeah. Because we can also make a song, a Justin Bieber song with Bevo's voice. Guy, was it too late now to say sorry? Yeah. Fuck. Someone please no do this. No singing, though. Just talking. I'm going to do this. <laughs> you I'm don't need definitely to chew this. your food. I found there's like this AI service. I forget what it is, but you can like train your own voice for like music writing. That's good. Like you can like, you know, it's like the same thing that you saw with The Weeknd and Drake and shit like that. You can just like make one of those, but you can use it on your own. You can. Yeah. So let's do one with Bevo. And let's make the song big up. Big up. Justin Bevo. Justin Bevo, big up. It's going to be awesome when everyone just licenses their likeness and then labels and entertainment companies have enough likeness to just never hire anyone again. Yeah. And entertainment be- goes the way of radio and it just all comes from someone's computer. Yep. And then YouTube's like, we're not allowing free uploads anymore. Yeah. Everyone's like, what? And then it all has to go back to one place, stand-up comedy. <laughs> yeah, so you're in the right <laughs> place then. <laughs> to get a human joke. <laughs> yeah. No, but then that's when, you know, the uh, <laughs> they all get shut down and bought out for AI stand-up comedy yeah. venues. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to happen for sure. Tonight, Tupac, Snoop Dogg, <laughs> and Pop Smoke <laughs> yeah. deliver their greatest jokes <laughs> along with their greatest hits. <laughs> Come on down to the comedy store. Check out Pop Smoke and Tupac. <laughs> Back-to-back action, jokes, and music. <laughs> I would fucking go see that. <laughs> like, in a second. I would definitely go see that. Tonight, Michael Bolton. No, who's a... <laughs> Tonight, Freddie Mercury and Pop Smoke go at it in a, in a battle of roasts. <laughs> it's roast battle. Featuring. I would watch that in a second. America's favorites. Oh my god. Yeah. All right, let's uh, move up, move to the bonus. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Another week. Big up the viewer. Big up the viewer. Remember. Uh, okay. Pick up the like button. <laughs> oh yeah, do that one again. That was good. Big up the like button. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> 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 yeah, big it up. <laughs> well, Cody said, Wagwan. <laughs> oh, wait, did I say it like that? Slightly. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was kind of trying to say it in an accent, but not like a, you know, yeah, we're trying no. to do like a patois thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know? You just try to angle that shit. <laughs> just trying to be fucking yeah. M.R or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussy turn red. P- pussy turn red. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Cody just added over. Big up the like button. <laughs> real Batman. <laughs> you know I'm the real Batman. <laughs> Big up the like button. <laughs> that's uh that's All right, folks. Cody's new voice. <laughs> yeah, big up the like no, button. That's supposed to be my Bevo voice. Uh. Remember you don't have to look both ways when you're crossing the street. <laughs> that's the Whitlings. <laughs> That, that's, that's a song, dude. Yeah. That's for pussy us the anti stay safe. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Cross it's the all street. Together. Don't look both this is ways. Genius. Uh leave flammable items in the hood of your car. Yeah, yeah. Um I don't know. Um uh when you're on fire. <laughs> leave a gun within reach of your child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now that's yummy. <laughs> now that's yummy. Leave a barbecue pit in the middle of your floor so your child can walk into it. <laughs> I don't know. That was too specific. Eat five minutes before going in the pool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, got to be more innocent <laughs> stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Eat a steak dinner before squatting heavyweight. Yeah. Whatever. Kill yourself. <laughs> Mom, is that you? All right, see you in the bonus. Bye. Bye. This week on the Bone Zone. A diagram of how John Edward Jones was stuck in Nutty Putty Cave. Why did I do this? Ah! What's crazy is you could just watch porn. <laughs> porn has better production value than this. Watch the full episode.
episode by signing up for a membership at tmgstudios.tv. Ha <laughs> ha